business. Welcome to episode 67 of the Business in Morocco podcast. Today we're going to be talking with Mohamed Alawi, who is the managing director of Carmine, which is a, a ride-sharing business here in Morocco, car rental, something like uh, Zipcar in the United States. Uh, but before we get into that, uh, welcome, Mohammed. Thanks for joining us on the podcast. Thank you, Ryan. Do you think uh, you could just start with a little bit of your background, where you went to school, when, where you grew up, and uh, some of the things you studied in school before you entered uh, the economy and the job force? Yes, of course. Um, well, I'm, I'm, uh, I was born and raised in uh, Meknes. Uh, it's a city, uh, uh, I think everybody knows Meknes. Uh, then I moved at the age of 18 uh, to Montreal. And this is where I obtained uh, a Bachelor of uh, Actuaries. Uh, for those who don't know actuaries, it's a mix of maths, statistics, and uh, and uh, finance to, to do uh, pricing for insurances and uh, financial products. Uh, then I worked uh, in the insurance field, but it was not, uh, it was a short experience. I, I quickly uh, understood that, I, that it was not the right thing for me. So I started looking for other, other opportunities and uh, out of nowhere, I decided to go to San Francisco and uh, this is where I had also uh, a, a master degree of finance. Uh, I, and, and this is actually where the magic happens. I, 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 spend, uh, I spent uh, two uh, amazing years uh, over there. I, I met with uh, great people, great mindset. Uh, this is what I did, where I discovered the entrepreneurship uh, in 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 uh, in the nature, the, like in, like in in its best definition, let's say, um, and uh, actually this is when I decided to uh, to become the entrepreneur. Uh, so I went back to uh, to Morocco, uh, worked as a consultant for uh, entrepreneurship uh, consultancy company, but it was also short. And right after that, I decided to launch. Uh, Carmine, uh, which is uh, the first uh, car sharing business. It's actually not ride sharing, it's a car sharing business. Uh, there is a difference between uh, ride sharing and car sharing. And, um, and yeah, so today uh, I, 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 am, I am the founder and uh, the general manager of, of this company, uh, trying to make it grow uh, in Casablanca first and uh, in other cities. Uh, in the next uh, the next years. So when you when you went to San Francisco, you were rubbing shoulders with a lot of entrepreneurs. What what was it that made you decide? You know what? I think I want to be an entrepreneur myself. Yeah, actually, actually, I grew up in in in, in a business family, and uh, so my my dad is a businessman. Mm -hmm. There is a difference actually between a businessman and an entrepreneur. But I didn't know about this difference when I was. Uh, uh, young, I mean, in Morocco, uh, I loved some stuff that my dad was doing, but I didn't like other stuff that he was doing. And I never, I was never able to explain it. Hmm. So when I, 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 I spent this, those two years uh, in San Francisco, I, uh, I found out that there is actually a difference between a businessman, an entrepreneur, and a general manager. So the, the, the entrepreneur is, 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 is also a businessman. He's a general manager. And uh, his business is about creating value and creating value that can uh, grow during uh, the time. And this is what I, uh, I discovered and I liked the most uh, while I was uh, spending some time with, uh, with uh, people in San Francisco because I, I don't know if you've been there, but... Uh, the whole energy in San Francisco is about entrepreneurship and mm. and uh, and uh, the yes we can mindset. So yeah. everything is possible. Everything is uh, is uh, can, can, can is everything is about transforming things. Everything is about innovation. So I think I got this energy from there, and uh, uh, 
and today it's 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 serving me a lot for on, on what I'm doing today with comedy. So after, sorry, right? No, go ahead. Just one more question. After you had spent years in North America, what brought you back here to Morocco? Yeah, uh, well, I tried uh, to uh, to launch some businesses in in uh, in, in the U.S. But to, in, to be honest, it was difficult because I, I found out that there was a big uh, gap uh, between um, the skills, let's say, that I have accumulated and all the network, let's say, that I that I that I have accumulated accumulated during my uh, academic school, and uh, and I and I was like. Uh, it's, it's going to be smarter to go to a country where, where there, is, uh, there is more opportunities, uh, easier, let's say opportunities, because uh, uh, if you want to compete in the U.S., it's, it's tougher, yeah, and especially for someone who is starting his uh, career as an entrepreneur. Maybe, uh, maybe in the next business, maybe I can, I can be more ready to compete in an in, in international or American market. But I, I was like, uh, the first thing was, it's maybe easier to do it in Morocco. The second thing, there are more opportunities uh, in Morocco. And third thing is because I wanted to, uh, to help also contribute in, 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 uh, in transforming the, uh, like the, the, the entrepreneurship ecosystem in Morocco. So this is also was one of my motivations. That's great. Yeah, I love that. And what year did you move back uh, back here to Casablanca? It was in 2014. 14. And when did you found Carmine? It was in two, it was in the end of 2014 when I created the uh, uh, let's say the legal structure, but uh, we launched on June 2015. 2015. It took us six months from the creation of the company and the uh, the launch of the, the service because we needed we needed to get the uh, technology ready, the partnerships ready, uh, buying cars, uh, having the first financing for for an MVP, let's say. Uh, so it took us six months to uh, to be ready for the launch. Uh, so yeah, we launched in June 2016. Uh, 15. Sorry. Yeah. So let's uh, let's do sort of a thought experiment here. Let's pretend that I'm a potential customer. Uh, I'm at my office here in, in uh, Wolfa near Finance City. And I have a business meeting in Sidi Bernoussi. And I want to use yeah. Carmine to go to that meeting. What would I do? Talk to us about the process of becoming a customer and how I find the car and how I rent it and what that looks like. Okay. Well, the first thing you need to start with is to become a member. Uh, becoming a member is, is, is a separate thing from using the service. So to become a member, you need to apply online. Uh, there is a form uh, where you, you provide your name, uh, email address, uh, all the information about yourself, your driver license, uh, the uh, it, ID, the, the CN identification card. And uh, once we receive your application, we approve uh, your, you, we approve it if you, uh, if you respond to all the criteria that we, we have. The criteria are easy. You need to have uh, at least two years experience uh, with your driver lessons. Uh, your name, your name need to match uh, your, <laughs> the one on your, on your, uh, on your IDs. And uh, and not having any suspicious uh, like uh, fraud or 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 a problem with the authentic cards. So once we approved your card, we provide you with uh, an ID and a password, and you can download the application, and you can see all the cars that are available next to you, and you can search uh, for any car any time uh, you want. So if you want to take your example to go to Barnoussi and uh, let's say you are in Gautier, for example, you can, uh, let's say you need uh, 30 minutes to get to your meeting, 30 minutes to go back. So that's one hour and maybe your meeting will take two hours. So you will need the car for three hours. So you're going to reserve 
going to look for the nearest car, which is available for three hours. You reserve it on the app. Then you go to the car. You use, uh, by the way, when we uh, uh, approve your uh, application, we give you a smart card that uh, enables you to open the cars, all the cars. So once you make a reservation on the app, you go to the car and you put the card on a, on a, on a windshield uh, lecture and the door is open. You get inside, the keys are inside, you just turn on the engine, drive, and at the end of the, when you're back, you, you bring back the car to the same spot, you, uh, you, you, you close it with your card and so the next customers can, can reserve it and take it. So I need a bank card in order to sign up and be a member, is that right? Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear your question. I need a bank card, like a credit card, in order to be no, a member. No, not not really. Uh, we uh, we have a prepaid uh, account. You can uh, open uh, an account with us with us without without having without providing us anyway uh, your, your bank information, and you prepay before uh, using the service. Uh, you can, for example, pay uh, let's say three hundred dirhams. Uh, for the example that you, we, we took on three hours, it will cost you something around 90 dirhams uh, because it's three dirham per hour. So we're just going to subtract 90 dirhams for 300. So you're going to have uh, uh, 210 left on your account that you can use on another trips. So, uh, so it's, it's a prepaid uh, service. And do you have to be... Moroccan? Do you have to have a carte séjour or a, a national identity card? Yeah. Well, no. We 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 accept also international uh, drivers. Uh, so uh, you know you don't need to be actually uh, uh, residents of Morocco. You can if you have like a valid international uh, driver license uh, valid in Morocco, you can you can have access to our service. And you mentioned the rate per hour. Do you also get charged based on the kilometers you drive? Yes. Actually, there are, uh, we charge three things. The first uh, charge is the, uh, um, uh, how do we call them in English? It's uh, uh, membership fees. Mm -hmm. Because this is what, uh, we're talking about the sharing economy. This is what allows us as a business to provide a car with 30 dirhams per hour. So there is a, a membership fees, uh, monthly or annual uh, monthly fees. Mm -hmm. And once you, uh, you, you pay those fees, then you pay per kilometer and per, uh, per hour. Uh, but you have always, and, and, and the, the uh, I forgot to mention, the gas is always included in right. the service. So we pay the gas. And uh, the, uh, the user pay, pays per hour and per kilometer. And for every reservation, there is uh, 80 kilometers uh, included in the, in the... So let's say, for example, for the example we took of three hours, if you uh, drive 40 kilometers with the car during those three hours, uh, you're not going to pay the kilometer. It's included oh, okay. 30 dirhams. So you're going to pay 90 dirhams, including the 40 kilometers. However, if you uh, drive more than 80 kilometers, you pay uh, one dirham per, per kilometer, but always the gas included. Okay. And are you able to travel to other cities using one of the cars? Yes. Yes, you can. Um, well, I, I, I'm, I'm going to uh, just uh, give you an explanation on uh, why people use our service, and then we can talk about this, about this uh, question. Uh, the, the, uh, today, the, the car sharing service is, uh, is a kind of an alternative of car ownership. Mm -hmm. So this is our added value. What we tell to our customers is uh, whenever you need a car for any kind of uh, uh, trip, we are an alternative and it's an attract attractive alternative with uh, all the ease of owning a car. So this is what we're trying to do. Today, uh, we are offering uh, uh, what we call a, a local offer, uh, which is uh, per hour. 
like like the example we mentioned it's mm -hmm. uh, three hours so today if you, if you if you need to do like uh, uh, this kind of trips uh, three or four times uh, uh, during a month it will maybe cost you 600 dirhams per month so this is attractive for someone who doesn't want to own a car instead of paying maybe 5,000 or 6,000 per month, including gas and insurance and the depreciation of the car, he will pay 600 and have access to the service whenever he needs it. And then there is another offer that we call long distance. And this is for people who want to travel with their car. So, uh, so if, if, if you want to travel with your car and uh, do a, a long distance trip, the, the offer that we need to give to customers needs to be competitive uh, to other offers. Mm -hmm. So this offer is the one which is, uh, let's say, competitive with the traditional car rental, mm -hmm. uh, plus all the uh, added value that we provide that you can reserve yourself, go get the car yourself, pay online. Uh, and today also, so you, uh, with all what is happening with the pandemic, there is no contact with anyone. You don't touch anyone. You just go to the car and crap it. And uh, so we have an offer only for long distance, which, which is competitive to, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the car rental. And there is a third offer that we don't have today, but uh, this is the one that we are working on. We need the coverage uh, to be able to offer it, which is the free floating. Because sometimes we need the car just to go uh, from A to B and spend the uh, six hours in, in the B zone. So I, I don't want to keep the car six hours and pay for it when I just want to go to the, to the point B. So, so this of offer, I can give you an example on what we are working on. Uh, the customer will pay, for example, uh, 600 dirham per month and uh, he will have illimited access to our cars during 30 minutes with the condition of, uh, of, of, of leaving one hour between uh, every uh, usage. Let's say you take the car from, uh, from uh, Gautier, you drop it in Sidi Marouf, that's 30 minutes. You spend uh, six hours, let's say, in your, uh, doing something, and then you want to go back to uh, India, for example. You take a car from Sidi Maruf, you drop it in India. So you have illimited use like that, and you only pay 600 per month uh, as, uh, as, uh, as uh, let's say, uh, uh, forfeit. So, yeah. That would require a lot of vehicles. Do you, can you share, like, what cities are you in, and how many vehicles do you have at this point? Yeah, so today we have uh, 20 cars. And mm -hmm. we have uh, something around uh, uh, 600 users. And uh, right now, just before the crisis, we, uh, we, we just closed a round of uh, fundraising, uh, which will allow us to, to get to 300 cars and 5,000 members. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. From 20 it's, cars it's, to we're gonna 300 do it gradual. cars. Yeah, gradually. It's, it's going to take us two years to get there. Well, yeah, I mean, that is yeah. massive growth. That's incredible. Yeah. Congratulations. Thanks. Thank you. Can you talk uh, a little bit about that fundraising process? And also, what are you going to do with the money besides uh, buy new cars in terms of talk about your customer acquisition strategy? Yeah, uh, we don't buy cars, actually. We don't okay, buy so them. you don't buy cars? No, we either uh, uh, like uh, rent them or we, we sometimes we finance them with a leasing. So, so we don't, uh, if we, 300 cars, if you buy them, it's, it's a lot of money. Nobody, <laughs> nobody <laughs> would invest on that. Well, besides banks that uh, have a diversification strategy, asset management. Uh, and this is actually what most of... Uh, people think uh, our business is not an asset management. Cars for us are assets, so we just use them to, to, uh, to serve our customers. But our main business is, what you said, is marketing, is to uh, onboard uh, people, the acquisition, try to retain them and uh, offer them uh, a good customer service, 
and, and, and a good uh, uh, pricing plans that, that can uh, cover their needs. So th this is actually what we do. This is our main, uh, our, our main business. And uh, so, so you ask two questions. You ask the, the one of fundraising and then the customer acquisition. You want to start with which one? Yeah, talk to us about the fundraising. How did you find these investors and, and how did you convince them to invest? What are some of the things that you told them? <laughs> the things that I told them, that's a, that's a good question. Well, actually, the, the fundraising is the... Is the uh, let's say it's the most difficult part, especially here in Morocco. Uh, but, but in my opinion, it's the, it's the best part because this is what gives you energy. This is what makes you go after what you want. Uh, I think if I, if I had uh, enough money, I wouldn't be doing, <laughs> doing karma. Maybe I would invest like, uh, I don't know. Let's, uh, so so the, the, the thing is, uh, uh, when I and I first started, I uh, I, I started with a, with a business angel that uh, that was a complete failure. It cost me two years, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was the wrong person. Uh, and then I had to recover from that. I had to uh, to get separate from this partner, and then I I partnered with a second person, which this time worked very well. And um, I mean, it's a business angel. The way like it works is that you make a business plan. Uh, you uh, you present all your KPIs. Uh, you uh, you sell your products and you try to 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 uh, to sell your your development plan because what is an investor interested in in this type of business is uh, the value of the company that he will buy his uh, stocks today compared to the value that he may sell in five years. So the whole work is about convincing your, the investors about his, uh, the pre-value that he will be making during his investment. How did you meet that angel? Um, I met the, 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 the second angel in, uh, uh, how to say, in, uh, in, in a networking event. So okay. yeah, it's a networking event and this is how I got to know him. And, and, and well, but there is a huge uh, work between the meeting and the clothing. <laughs> right. it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot of uh, meeting someone doesn't necessarily mean you mm -hmm. end up being partner with him. And did you say uh, you've met a lot of different investors? I mean, did you pitch Carmine to a whole bunch of people before you received funding from the same? Yes, group? yes. Um, I, I pitched uh, to many investors either here uh, in Morocco or abroad. But at the time when I was looking for an investor, there was not too many choices. Mm -hmm. uh, it was in 2016. In 2016, there was only one VC available uh, in Morocco and the rest was business angels. Uh, yeah. So that's why I, end up, I ended up with the business angel instead of the, the, the only VC that's, uh, that was operating at that time. Uh, today, I think there are many others. So it's, 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 I think today it's easier anyway to, to get money. Even though there might be more funding available now, it's still important for entrepreneurs, especially some of our listeners that are thinking about starting out or have opened a brand new company. It does take a lot of pitches. You've got to be willing to hear no many times before you can finally find somebody willing to invest in your company. Yes, of course. Well, there are many things that uh, happen when you, uh, when you, you, like you, you, you find the right partner or the right investors. It's not only a question of money. It's also if the investor is, is uh, interested in you as a person, Mm -hmm. uh, if he believes in you or if he believes in the, uh, uh, the, uh, the timing, if, uh, if he can provide uh, some good synergies with his partners. Uh, so, so there are too many things that, uh, that are taken into consideration between uh, the, uh, the entrepreneur and the founder and the, and the investor. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
uh, unfortunately in Morocco, we don't have uh, specialized uh, business angels. Mm -hmm. Like you need to be lucky to uh, find someone from the, the field where you uh, do business, interested in you, interested in your business, willing to make his money. So there are a lot of, let's say, things to validate, to, to make the deal happen. Yeah. And uh, well, but, but, but that, as you say, when you keep pitching and you keep uh, uh, looking, you, you, like you, you end up finding. That's right. Yeah, you were at a networking event when you met this angel. So you got to put yourself out there, exactly. make contacts, make pitches, and you exactly. will, if you, if you don't give up, you will get a yes. Exactly. Yeah. So how much money has been invested in the company and, and what was the most recent valuation? Um, well, we, we're not, we don't talk about this, like uh, these numbers, the, 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 we're not making them we're not making them public uh, for now. Uh, can, you but it's, it's, can you tell us sorry? then how, how long is the runway? I mean, without giving us specific numbers, how, how much, how long can you operate now given this investment in order to grow the business? Well, yes. Yeah, so, so it's an investment that will uh, able us to grow to 300 cars in, uh, in the two next years and reaching 5,000 members. So, so are, you, are you profitable today? Meaning cash flow positive? No, no, we are still, uh, we are, we are still uh, like uh, paying uh, uh, subventions. How do you say? Like, we, like we, we're still investing, let's say, on, on the company, but we're not far from the, uh, from the, uh, the break even, like a cash flow break even. How many members is, uh, is cash flow break even? Uh, it's uh, around uh, 40 cars and mm -hmm. uh, maybe some something around uh, 1,000 members. Okay, so that you can get there. Members. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. Getting, we're you're we're not close. we're not cool. we're not far. Yeah. And is that specifically just Casablanca? Well, for this uh, the, for this plan of developments, uh, there is Casablanca. And uh, there is a partnership uh, with uh, Luencef. We are uh, we're going to be providing cars uh, in the uh, um, uh, like in around the, the train stations. Around the train stations, inside the train stations. Oh, okay. So, uh, so with this with this uh, partnership, you're gonna you, 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 we're gonna we're gonna go to uh, Tangier, Rabat, and uh, and Marrakesh. Yeah. So, uh, so, 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 so this is how we, let's say we're going to expand. We're going to start expanding with the uh, train stations. And once we see uh, how we, how it works and how we can operate remotely from Casablanca, then uh, we're going to expand uh, to out of the stations, the, 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 uh, the train stations. That's a great idea, especially with the TGV. I mean, you could go up to Tangier for a meeting, Exactly. You know, you take the train, you just get another car mine, drive to your meeting, come back, back on the train. It would be perfect. Exactly. That's 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 we that's what we want to offer, and uh, with the same with the same card, with the same membership, you can either grab a car in in Tangier or Marques or Rabat. Even if you have if you own a car in Casablanca, you can still uh, use the service when if you want to, to to travel. It's more convenient. If you you can spend your uh, your time traveling, working instead of driving. And once you arrive, you have your car waiting for you in the uh, train station. And you can use it by the hour or for one day or whatever you want. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, very so convenient, yeah. And, and then there is Casablanca and we consider Rabat uh, maybe, I think, uh, I, I th as, as, as let's say an extension of Casablanca. So if we, if we uh, if, if we see like a quick opportunity uh, happen in Rabat, we're gonna move, uh, uh, we're gonna expand to to Rabat uh, faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So talk to us about your your marketing strategy. What channels are you using, and how are you acquiring new customers? What type of uh, ads are you doing? Uh, well, we use one hundred percent digital. Uh, uh, the, we use content on uh, social media. 
uh, Facebook, uh, YouTube, uh, LinkedIn, uh, all the all the social the social media, and uh, we do uh, we do our acquisition uh, with with banners, with uh, videos that explain explain the concept, and uh, then uh, we obtain some leads, people interested in knowing more about the pro the, the, the concept, and then uh, we try to convert them to users. And once they are users, well, we we provide them uh, uh, like with many advantages that will keep them use the service. Uh, for example, in the beginning, when we started, uh, we have let's say two big barriers to entry. I mean, for our to to onboard a new customer, uh, there is a, a deposit of one thousand five hundred, which we give back once you shut down or you stop your service. And there is also a membership of 960 dirham uh, annually. So for a new person that want to try the service, if you ask him to pay these two amounts, the conversion rate is, becomes low because uh, mm -hmm. people doesn't know you and they don't want to get to know you by paying almost 3,000 dirham. Mm -hmm. So we took off these two barriers during two months so we give access to our best plan without paying the, uh, the deposits and uh, not the membership, like you don't pay anything. And you can use the service with our best plan uh, with the price of 30 dirham per hour. And then once you get to know the, the service and, uh, uh, and, and, and see how useful it is for you, then you pay the deposits and the membership plan if you wanna keep the same uh, advantages. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to pay the uh, the, uh, the deposits and the membership, uh, you, you you still can be a member, but you just lose the uh, the advantages of paying thirty dirhams. You pay sixty dirham instead, and uh, you don't have access to uh, the long distance pricing, and you don't have access to another pricing that we have an offer which is called tarif uh, travail for workers, which is uh, 220 dirhams for 10 hours. Uh, and this is actually for people who come, for example, uh, from Rabat to Casablanca, and they want to keep the car for 10 hours and then bring it back, uh, let's say, uh, uh, to, uh, to the station of Casablanca and, and, and then take the train to Rabat. So instead of paying 300, they, they are paying only 220. So. The, the, you lose all these advantages, but you, you can still use this, the service by paying more than uh, the people who uh, give the deposit and the membership fee. <clears throat> so in that process of converting a, a lead to one of your new customers, do you have somebody from your team that actually calls and discusses all these different options and uh, yes, of course. offers? Yes, of course. The, 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 we have we have we have different type of uh, leads. There are some leads who make it to the uh, subscription without any help uh, because they, they took time to to read on our website or maybe they call us and ask questions. And there are some leads that are needs to be pushed, and mm -hmm. uh, we call them, we explain to them, we answer their questions, and we make them convert. And how long does that application process take? Like when you talked about like the time to check the IDs and to get that card. It's uh, less than 24 hours. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's, and do you come to the Carmine office to pick up the card? We give the choice to the customer. Uh, either you can come pick it up or we can ship it to you. Uh, today we are, uh, we are, we are considering another option, which is, uh, uh, opening and closing the, the car with your smartphone. So uh, yeah. we are working on that. Uh, so we can uh, eliminate the, uh, the smart car. You can just download the app without, without any uh, smart card. You can open uh, all the cars with your smartphone. That's great. Well, we thank you a lot for Mohammed for, for coming on the podcast. Uh, talking to us about your business and Carmine, congratulations again on your, your fundraising round and we wish you the best of luck in growing your business and 
we'll hope to have you back on the podcast once you uh, reach that 1,000 users and 300 cars. Um, yeah. Thanks again. 5,000. <laughs> 5,000. <laughs> yeah. Well, you right. said 1,000 would probably be the mark where you, you're, you're profitable. So that's yeah, worth celebrating exactly. and, and yeah. updating the users. Yeah. Exactly. Great. All right. Thanks. Well, thank you for your invitation and uh, talk to you soon. Thanks, Mohammed.